everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different um, and I'm hoping some of you find it interesting. I was going over the footage and I was like, hmm, that's not that interesting. However, I feel like that's because I know what's going on and hopefully you guys do find it interesting. So a lot of you will know I do pole fitness or pole dancing or pole sport, whatever you want to refer to it as, where I basically dance on a pole. Um, and a lot of you know this because I have spoken about it a little bit in vlogs. Sometimes the pole in my living room is visible in the background of videos. And of course I post pole photos on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me, I'm just Jazzy Bum on Instagram. So because of this, I do end up getting a lot of questions about my poll. So I thought I would very, very, very briefly touch on those questions and then I would show you uh, like a, a 10 minute example of what kind of things I do on the poll. So to briefly answer some of those questions, am I a stripper? No, I am not a stripper, but I have nothing against anyone who decides to do that. Number two, how did I get into pole? Um, it was a club when I was at uni and I was like, yes, let's go do it. I really, really enjoyed it. So when I came out of uni, I started doing it properly and I've been doing it properly, properly for I think like two years. So I am in no way, shape or form a professional or even an advanced, barely an intermediate. Like I'm okay at it, but don't be thinking I'm a genius and I'm great. I'm not, but I try my best. Thirdly, why I do pole fitness, it is freaking so much fun and so, so addictive. And the accomplishment you feel when you like master a move is just like nothing else. It's so amazing. And you just feel really great. It is exceptionally good for your strength, for your core, for like all of your muscle groups. It's great. Um, and I just really, really love it. Those are a few of the questions answered that I get most often. And now I'm going to insert some footage of me doing pole. I'm basically just going to be talking through some of the moves that I'm going to be showing you. Um, as I said, I'm not a professional. I'm just showing you the kind of thing that I would do in a lesson and the kind of moves that you might expect to do yourself if you were to start pole dancing. Final, final thing before we get into it. Um, these are all of the moves that I feel confident doing by myself without like an instructor or someone spotting me in case I maybe fall because I'm home alone and I don't wanna be doing dangerous moves where I could just flip off the pole at any second. So obviously note there are other moves that I can kind of do that are a little bit more difficult, but I'm not gonna be doing them home alone. Anyway, roll the footage. Bun is in, we're gonna start straight away with a shoulder mount. These things are my worst enemy. I hate them. They are painful. I'm not good at them. Oh, I hate this so much. One. Oh, pain, <laughs> pain. This side I am not good at. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Bad landing, poor landing. Oh. Okay, over time, I've got much better at getting up. Still not neat and elegant, but I've managed to get up. Getting down, I basically fall off. You'll notice that my feet go when really they should gently go down. No, <laughs> nip, I'm so tired already. Nope, you can see my energy has dwindled. No, nope. no. I'm gonna practice standing on a pole, which I'm pretty good at on this leg, but on this leg, not the best. So, standing, and we can go front of the pole, nice and easy. But then, if we look at my other leg, it's just not quite so strong. You can't tell, but I can, because I feel like I'm gonna fall any second. So, this is my other leg, and I just wanna stay here for a minute and get it used to it. I'm just not good on this side. Oh, my good side, not too bad could sit here happily for a little while, I think. If we go on to my bad side. <sighs> okay, it's not as bad as I thought, but I definitely feel like I've got a lot less grip on this side. Can you see me slipping? Just slightly. Grip harder. <sighs> oh. Ready for bed. <laughs> I am ready for bed. Now I'm gonna go into an invert, which is basically upside down, and then into a crucifix like this, I believe. I'm not gonna lie, could be getting some of these names wrong. Not great at the nomenclature. Don't think that's the right word. I can get up absolutely fine. I'm completely happy with the way I'm doing it, but I don't think I'm doing it properly. I think you're meant to more sort of glide up like this. I sort of jump up. I'll show you. So I go like this 
but I think you're meant to sort of do this, you know? <laughs> Try and practice going. Gosh, that's so much harder than what I do. And crucifix. And then we're we'll going to a handstand butterfly. That was my invert on one side. I'm now going to go up the opposite side and I'm not very good at this side. Take a one minute break, I will. Please remember, as I said, not a professional. I also have one of the worst memories you will ever meet in your life. I'm basically Dory from Finding Nemo. Um, so I'm gonna try and do a Gemini and a Scorpio. Gemini, I've always been kind of okay with. I don't do it the neatest way, but I'm kind of okay with. Scorpio, I suck at, which is so annoying because I am a Scorpio. It would be so nice if I could do Scorpio, but I'm just rubbish at it. So I believe Gemini is an outside leg hang. Scorpio is an inside leg hang. So this is my Gemini. It's so my outside leg goes on the pole and then I can do this and that's, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Gemini, I believe, could be wrong. Could have got it completely wrong, who knows. So now we're gonna do a Scorpio, which is my inside leg hang, and it's meant, the pole's meant to kind of go here-ish, somewhere, or here-ish. <laughs> it's meant to go on the back of that car, and it kills, like actually kills. Let me see if I've got a photo. This is Scorpio, what I'm aiming for. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Not going to lie to you. Really rubbish at it. Here goes absolutely nothing. One second, let me get my breath back. <sighs> Butch these down a little bit actually as well because I'm gonna need this little bit of my belly. Oh look, it's already getting red. Lovely. <sighs> Gosh, I hate this. <sighs> mm. Oh, it's so painful. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> and Scorpio. Oh, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Nope. I hate it. Next move is what I think is a layback. Could be completely different. I could be wrong. I'm really good. If anyone wants to learn pole, come to me. I'm great. I'm going to grab this and this and banana. I believe is what we're going for. Oh, I think that was about right. Stay hydrated, kids. Oh, <laughs> that was not a layback. I've just found it in the book. That's what you call a plank, apparently. So ignore me completely. Not a layback. We're gonna work on what I believe is a star, but knowing me, it's not called a star at all. So who cares? Not this way, clearly. Okay, then I'm gonna let go. Ta-da! This is some move of sorts. I don't know what move. <laughs> and I've just found a star and that is not it. Does anyone else <laughs> go to exercise classes and find that adrenaline kicks in and competitiveness kicks in and you can just do things. And then when you come home to try and do it by yourself, you can't do it. That wasn't you in class, that was somebody else. Because that's what happens to me. When I'm in a class of people, I really want to be on level with everyone. So they'll do things and even if I can't do them, I'm like, I want to be on level, I want to do the same thing. Yeah, at home, nope, nada. Okay, we're gonna do a butterfly, and this is the one where I always get told off because I don't look at the pole. <laughs> I always bend my neck back, so if I don't look at the pole, write it in the comments. I never know what I'm doing, I just do stuff. So, this is the butterfly. We're gonna go up, we're gonna reach down, and so I can do this, or well, this, and I'm looking at the pole. <laughs> with my butterfly. And then onto the pole and crucifix and handstand dismount. That wasn't too bad. Oh good, look at my hair. Wanted to go out after this. Grand. Okay, we're gonna do one last thing. Um, we're gonna do my, we're gonna do a, what's it called? Good, I don't know what it's called. That was 
minimal hold. I think I did that for a whole two seconds, if that. So I'm gonna leave it there for the day. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm leaving in. I don't know where this video is going. Hopefully somewhere good. I'm gonna go out now, so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know any of your questions down below and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.